When stars form, there's uh, usually just a little bit of gas and dust left over from the process. And that little bit of gas and dust left over orbiting the star is what can turn into planetary systems. So these rotating disks of gas and dust are the raw material for new planets. Most of the material is uh, gas, hydrogen gas, um, but mixed in with it is, is uh, what astronomers call dust, solid material, silicates and carbons, and, and that's the stuff that forms rocks and, and ultimately planets, uh, the cores of, of gas giant planets. How do the disks evolve into solar systems is the question that we want to answer. Right? There are many more unknowns than, than knowns. There's a wonderful protoplanetary disk around the star TW Hydri. This is a unique system because it's one of the closest known to the Earth, so we can see it in the most detail. We know that there's a, uh, an inner hole in the disk, like a CD with, with a hole in the middle. And we think that the hole is being cleared out by a, a planet in formation. And with ALMA, we should be able to see the gas and dust that's forming the planet, and even the gas and dust in the circumplanetary disk that may be forming moons around this planet. We may have the opportunity to actually see the planet formation process in action because from year to year we can see things change and put these together and, and make a movie of the uh, evolution of the disk. And that's something that we've never been able to do before. Well, that's exciting. That is exciting. <laughs>